Hello, bonjour. So we realized we have so many in interesting point and shoot cameras. Why? And we are called the point and shoot club. Why not we just make some good old fashioned uh, camera overviews? So today, we just want want you guys to know uh, how this camera will operate, how the cameras will operate, and then what the pictures will look like. So when you guys search it, you can find this camera on YouTube. So today we're gonna talk about a Konica camera, which is by the name Recorder. It's got another name, which is some weird number but it's mainly recorder and it's got a few different color options. This is a 35mm point and shoot camera that shoots a half frame. So if you are looking for a budget on the go camera, this is the way to go. I think this is one of the best, most compact uh, half frame point and shoots out there, except for the, uh, there's another one called the Fuji the Fuji ones but I think that's this is more superior one I think so it's it's a really compact design it's hand sized and then this is a half frame? yeah this is a half frame and you just it's a it's got a really interesting design you see that cut out and you just pull it and it, you expose the focusing system the the lens it's a Konica Haxanon lens. It's a 24 millimeter f4. So it's a wide angle, relatively large aperture for a uh, half frame. The Fuji one is a f8, and that one is really comparable to this one. And then what's most amazing about this camera? It's got an auto focusing system. So DX coded. Yeah, and it's DX coded. So everything you need. But there's some parallax issues with this because you see the viewfinder is right here. The lens is right here. So when you frame it, just be careful on that. So, and you have a flash option. And at the back, data imprint function as well. So you can, you can have your date printed on the half frame also. You have an ISO selector right here. It accepts uh, 100, 200, 400. Million. That means, that means, kind of, it's because it's DX coded, right? <clears throat> you see? Yeah. It's a DX coded camera. But why is it? But it's it's out of sensing the film uh, ISO. But I think you can override it using this. So oh. that means you can have some level of push and pull on the film expire 800 yeah something like that you can shoot some expire film wow. and it uses two uh double a's Convenient. and when you close it you just slide this and then close it back and then it just reduce the camera size really small. but one thing i find really kind of annoying is it's, it's got a uh, the flash. The flash, you have to turn it on manually all the time. If you want flash to go off, you have to turn it on at the side. And then when you turn it off, it automatically turn it off. You see? So every time you have to, when you want to, it's not out of flash, it's manual flash, so. So it'll be like that. Yeah. You have to turn it on, and then when you turn off the camera, it goes back. I don't think that's a big deal. Mm, but for me, I mean, you have we have a like a I just shot a roll with this, but sorry for the uh, some pictures turn out really blurry because I kind of want to explore some soft image effect. I just I just like freaking uh, used my nose grease. <laughs> mm. My oil <laughs> on the skin to smear <laughs> on the lens so it gives like a soft effect. I mean, that's one tip for a cheap soft effect, you know. And it's a hexamon lens, you know, it's a pretty plenty sharp. 
And then another annoying part is that it's a manual rewind. Whoa. You have to, and it doesn't tell you when it's finished or not. You just have to hold it. You just have to hold it until you hear it's giving up, and then you turn it off. So, but I find this camera really. And then I, the first row I go through with this is kind of shit. It's like every picture is shit. But hence the the name, right? Recorder. You just uh, shoot film on a budget, and then it creates some really nice pictures. And it's it's a recorder, right? Recording of your life. Something you find, you know, general, everyday stuff. Recording. Recorder. Konica recorder. And oh, one more annoying part is this hand strap. It's it's only got the hand strap option. It's it's it's. Is it built in? It's built in. Fuck that. It's like screwed on, so you have no other way to attach another strap. Uh, like else, you can just attach on here. But all of my straps are too long. You know, attaching on this. And it just hits my balls all the time when I put it on my neck. So yeah, so here's the Konica recorder. And the red version is kind of hard to find too. So yeah, thanks guys.